So um, when I've been doing the research on Valerie and Jonathan, whom I've known about and uh, admired for a very long time, I'm reading about uh, red chili peppers and smashing pumpkins, and I'm thinking, they're vegetarians. <laughs> so, you know, for those of you who were at my house yesterday, you know, that was uh, very odd for me. Um, but I'm also a great uh, accumulator of pickup lines. So, uh, you know, I've had one husband for 40 years, and I was engaged to another man when I met him, and he came up to me and came really close and said, Irv told me everything about you except how beautiful you were. That was the end of the engagement and 40 years of marriage. So was that a great pickup line, Valerie, when Jonathan said, you're a brilliant performer, I want to film you? <laughs> was that good? You may teach these students something right away. Uh, wait, where'd you find that research? Never mind. <laughs> um, well, we did actually meet here, and I was in the dance department, and um, it was actually uh, Shirley Clark was a teacher oh, here, yeah. an incredible teacher here, and I um, saw her filming one of our dance teachers, and that's what sort of led me into the film world, and he promised he would make films of my dances, so that's how he lured me. That's yes. how we started, and then, you know, we just started working on projects together. We just got involved in a documentary he was making, and, um, you know, it all started, it all started right here, and has continued for not quite 40 years, but we're... You're working we're, towards we're getting You're there. halfway yeah. there. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the, the thing is, the music videos and your entrance into sort of the MTV world, was that very much because of your dance? Because again, for me, it was my sons who were in their teens when MTV came on. And I would look at them and get a headache <laughs> because it was all like movement, yeah. editing, and what I call production design. So the movement, the editing, the production design was what it was made of. You couldn't look at it and say, there's a great director. Y it was something else. So did that help you or the two of you get into that? Well, you know, uh, you know, today they've talked a lot about how you are all here to learn about the latest technologies and the new opportunities. And for us, um, we graduated in, uh, 1980, just as MTV started happening. So suddenly, there was this new medium, and there were no experts. And there was also very little money. And so that made us perfectly qualified to, uh, <laughs> to go and work. And um, we got our first job from someone who was another student here who worked at Campus Events Commission. And he had just graduated and started a record company and signed this uh, band The Go-Go's, mm -hmm. who none of us knew about at the time, and he asked if we could make a commercial. He didn't know any filmmakers, he just knew us from film school. So your career really does start now. The relationships that you have, you know, really will serve you. Yeah, I think the dean and Bill McDonald and made that point really, really well. So, okay, the interesting thing about the videos, the ones that I watched, I realized Smashing Pumpkins was actually a band, and so we're, uh, you know, it took me a little while. My sons helped me get onto the sites. Um, but the point is, they were very, very stylized. So, obviously, you had some vision about how to present this, because, you know, what you did in, in just what the, what the students saw was so much like Michael Bay and Transformers way, way before. So where did that come from in your education or just from your crazy minds? Well, I mean, I, I think a lot of what was fun about videos is that you got to experiment. Each film was, a, or each video was a different, um, you know, exploration of, like, we did one, the first one that you saw was sort of a tribute to George Melies, and mm -hmm. so, um, you know, what has been great for us in the work that we've done is it felt, it feels a lot like what you're going to be doing here, and I think that's what's so great about a, a career in film, is that because it's always changing, you're always like a student, really, and, and I think every project that we do, we are still learning and challenging ourselves and trying something that we haven't done before, and, and videos were a great opportunity to do that, so we, we tried, you know, working in the, the style of George Melies, and then, you know, we do other films that were more animated, um, you know, we did the commercial you saw that was animated with flashlights, that was something we had never done before, it was stop motion, and the whole thing was shot with a still camera, so, you know, each time, that's what I think is our 
it keeps us inspired and challenged, and we feel like students, you know, still. Yeah. And it's, you just experiment yourself. You just learn about it. You, you hire you, good people. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, you have to kind of get used to that feeling of not knowing and get comfortable with it. That feeling you have right now actually will Continue. serve you. <laughs> it, it doesn't necessarily leave. Um, I don't know if that's good news or no, bad news. I think news. it's a good thing. I mean, I, I think as a director, if you're confident in what you do, it's, it's okay not to know all the answers. And um, really, that, that's kind of what I think makes, makes it an interesting line of work. And, and you know, if you, if you go in knowing everything, it's kind of boring. You know, but if you go in going, I don't know how to do this, how am I going to do this? And then you get, assemble a team of people who can help you figure out how to do it, it you know, it's, you get such a sense of accomplishment and, and you know, growth. Well, looking, looking at, your, uh, at your bios, I could not find Valerie without Jonathan, and I couldn't <laughs> find Jonathan without Valerie. So how do you direct together? Well, um, we both do everything, and it just requires that we figure out our plans before we come to set. And so it just, you know, and people need to plan anyway. Um, so we just work a lot at home. And then uh, on the set, we have a strategy we've storyboarded. And, you know, we both talk to actors and crew. And Do you ever disagree? Do you ever tell one act, you know, an actor something well, different? Or have you, you know, got no, the script we, before you go? We disagree yeah. a lot. But, um, <laughs> but, well, no, but, yeah. <laughs> but, but we, we, we work, we work that out in advance. And then there may be certain times where uh, we'll try a couple different things. You know, one of us feels strongly about a certain approach and we'll just see if it works. I think more on commercials because they're, they're kind of a quicker production. You don't have as much prep time. On films, we usually, we do so much prep that by the time we get to the set and we're working with the actors, we really know what we want and we're, we're very much of one mind. So we haven't had that issue of like, I mean, it would be terrible to tell an actor, you know, two different directions. And uh, so we, we usually, you know, prep is sort of the fun part of, I, I love prep and we, we spend a lot of time um, working on the performances and just doing, we workshop films before we do them. And so that's, that's a key part. And especially when you're collaborating, you do, it, it makes all the difference. Who says action? Who says cut? Or AD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's interesting. So, the, uh, <laughs> so you're abdicating control there. Well, no, he's we, really he's got a loud mouth and yeah, you know, no, but no, we 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 let him know that we we're done. Yeah, we signal him and then he says it. So 